on my recent visit to Dadeldhara, Vosarki a Lanka paralegal, narrated to me how he was discriminated by a shopkeeper recently. <laughs> I was angered and frustrated at my own inability to help him. I moved on to Bajura with a heavy heart. I was beginning to feel that there was very little hope for Nepal. How could a shopkeeper, an educated former government employee, treat a campaigner against caste discrimination in such an inhuman way? The question haunted me and pricked my conscience. But what I saw in Bajura changed my entire perception. I and Sita Bistabika, a land cow paralegal, were taking stock of situation of caste discrimination in a village in Bajura. A scene at the end of the road caught our attention. We saw a young man conversing with a tailor and a few villagers. The young man was telling the villagers that declining to eat food touched by Dalit was a crime. An ordinary non-Dalit driver telling people that caste discrimination is a crime was in sharp contrast to what I saw in Tadel Dura. I immediately handed over a certificate of appreciation to the driver, Mr. Dojendra Saha. It gave me a sense of relief. Above all, it gave me a hope that Nepal will change because there are ordinary people like Dojendra Saha who can feel the pain of others and speak against injustice.